Good morning, class. So today, in our continued study of American history, we are going to look at a primary source document written by the founding fathers of the United States. Now remember, primary source documents are documents that were written at that time period by the people involved. So the preamble of the Declaration of Independence was written by the founding fathers to tell the King of England and the government of the United Kingdom at the time, or the, the British Empire, that they were no longer interested in being part of the country and that they wanted to go off and be on their own. Now, because this is a primary source document, it is very information dense. I have a background in history and I find it to be somewhat intimidating. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a couple of strategies to break this down and make it a lot easier to digest. So my ultimate goal today is I want you to be able to put the preamble of the Declaration of Independence into your own words. So I want you to be able to read this document, I want you to understand the document, and I want you to be able to explain the document by the end of what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we're going to do is let's talk about two strategies to help us. The first one's called chunking. So now chunking is if you picture that you're at a fast food restaurant and you've got yourself a burger, you don't just shove the entire cheeseburger into your mouth. You take small bites and that's what chunking is. Chunking is breaking something big down into smaller bits or, or bites or chunks. So for instance, with this one, um, you can break this down into sentences. And some of these sentences are really long, so we're going to end up breaking them further down into part of sentences. Now, for some other things, you can break them down into paragraphs uh, or pages, depending on what the information is. But for today, we are going to chunk by sentences. So our first one, our first sentence is, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And later on, because I know you have it in front of you, I want you to notice some of these words are, are capitalized that are not in the, the front of the, the, of the sentence, and they're not names or titles. So you need to figure out why that is, because there is a reason, I think. So now with this one up, I'm going to break it down, and I'm going to show you what the first sentence looks like by itself. So once again, here's our first sentence right here, and I put my chunking lines so I know where I stopped. All right. Now, this, our second strategy is going to be to highlight. Now, what highlighting does is it makes things stand out. And today we're going to be highlighting three separate ideas. So I've given you three highlighters. Everybody has a orange highlighter, a yellow highlighter, and a green highlighter. So what you're going to do is you are going to you are going to take words or phrases that you think are important. So this is your judgment when you read this. Words or phrases that you think are important should be highlighted in orange, okay? Capitalized words should be highlighted in yellow because remember I, there is a reason that they're, they're capitalized other than that they're in the front of a sentence or a name. And our third color, our green, is going to be words that you do not know. So there's words that you're confused about. Go ahead and highlight those green so that way you know to ask. Because once again, we all have to ask questions or else we're never going to learn. Okay? So I'm going to show you what, how I highlighted the first one. Here it is. We hold these truths truths, sorry, to be self-evident, okay? And so what I did was I said orange for hold these truths, okay? And orange for me was words you think are important or words or phrases. So hold these truths means that it's something that you really deeply believe in. So I think that's important. Or self-evident. Self-evident means that it's obvious, all right? I also highlighted all men are created equal. 
Because in this document, what it says is that no matter where you're born or, or how you live, you are equal to everybody else in our society. And then for our green, for things that I was confused about, endow, unalienable, and pursuit. And what we will do later on is we will get out dictionaries or we will get out our computers and then we will look up those phrases to see what we can figure out for them. Now, for my yellow with the capitalized words, some of those I also underlined in orange because you can have more than one color on a word or a phrase. So creator was capitalized. And, and creator, by this they mean like, like a, a deity that formed, the, that started the universe. So that's technically a title. But rights, rights is not. So we need to figure out why that was capitalized. Life and liberty and happiness were also capitalized. So we need to figure out why, what was so important about those that they capitalized. So, and I did think that they were uh, words that were important. So if you see, I underlined them in orange. So that's why that I think that they were capitalized. Okay, so now that you've seen me do this, we're gonna go back to that first part and we're gonna do this one together, okay? So we're going to look at, what's our next chunk? Good. So the second sentence, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. So now, this time, we're going to do this one together. Okay? And remember, For green are words and phrases that you do not know. So there's something in this one that confuses you. You're going to do it in green. Okay, we're going to do it together, but we're going to do it that one in green. For the yellow are capitalized words, and our orange is our phrases, words you think you are, are important. So let's take a look at this, and I would like you guys to take a minute to read it to yourself, and then we're going to work on this one together. Okay, great. So your minute's up. And let's look. So our first thing is, let's take our, our green. Is there any words in here that no one is or that someone is confused about? Okay. So instituted. All right. So we'll, I'm going to highlight this one in green. So we can look that up later. Is there any others? Deriving. Okay. So we're going to look up deriving also. We're going to put that one in green. Okay. Now. Any others? Consent, all right. So now let's take a look at yellow and do our capitalized words. So we have our yellows here for government. Good job. Any other? Men, all right, good, so that's a yellow. And that's it, right? Because we don't need to capitalize this, that's the beginning of a sentence. Perfect, let's look at orange for this one. Are there any phrases or words that you think are important? So rights, yep, yeah, good. So we can do this. This is an orange. And governed, okay. We'll do that one as an orange. Okay, so, this, so ladies and gentlemen, does this make sense? Does this explain? Remember, highlighting once again is to bring something to your attention for later on. So we've got our three things. We got our green, our phrases and words that you do not know. Yellow is our capitalized words, and orange is our phrases and words you think are important. So let's skip down now that we've done this together. We're gonna go all the way back, sorry, to the beginning. And I want you to take a look and see where you can chunk the next sentence. Go ahead and take a minute. All right, why don't you guys give me some ideas? All right, so some of you said we can do the entire sentence, but the entire sentence goes all the way down to here. And that is a big chunk. So what I thought, oh, well, I'm sorry, let me ask you guys again. Oh, good. So somebody said after the first, the first comma, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to chunk right the first comma. So everybody draw your line here after it. And we're going to, you are going to this time, take that 
and you are going to highlight it yourself. But I want you to walk me through again what color does what, so I know that you know what you're doing. So green is is words not known. Words not known. Good. Yellow is capitalized. Nice job. And orange is words or phrases you words or phrases you think are important. So words, phrases you think are important. Now I want you to take a couple minutes. I want you to read this this chunk here, and I want you to highlight it on your own. And just to remind you once again, we do chunking because it'll help us to make it make reading and comprehending these passages easier. And we highlight, so once again, it will make understand comprehending easier because it breaks things down into categories like like words not known or capitalized words or words or phrases you think are important. So when you're done with that, then I want you to go and turn to your neighbor and share, and then we will come back together and we will go over this. All right, thank you. Go ahead and get, get started. 